What's the hype with Skims? Is it actually worth it? These models look incredible. Is that Kate Moss? Okay, take my money. Wait, why is everything sold out? Okay, I found something that's available. Are these comfortable? I don't care. As long as they make me look like a Kardashian. All of these questions are swirling through my mind, so I decided to do a Skims haul. And I just maxed my credit card. Hey, I'm Kat, and I'm the Drunk Bridesmaid, and I just got my Skims in the mail. I just spent a bunch of money, and we're gonna find out if we're wearing the Emperor's new clothes or if this is going to be shapewear gold. I've got a great cross-section here of Skims items, ranging from essential items, limited edition, underwear, clothing, shapewear, so let's dive in. <laughs> First up, and I'm most excited about this one, this is the Mesh One Wire Plunge Bra. And I have been stalking this bra on the website for like a year, and it's always sold out. So I always, I clicked that little join the waitlist button. Either that waitlist doesn't really exist, or this list is so long that I'm finally gonna get an email in like two years that they've finally reached my name on the waitlist. Either way, Kim K did not let me know this was restocked, but I did snag it. So let's check it out. Um, this is in the onyx color. It's literally just two layers of this thin mesh stacked on top of each other. There's no darts here. And they say it's one wire, but I think it's actually three wires because we have the two under wires here and then we have this U-shaped wire here that is not actually connected to the under wires because it bends. Here's a one wire bikini top that I bought on sheen.com and this one is literally just one wire. It doesn't really bend at all. Uh, it's really difficult to pack in your suitcase and it's kind of awkward to wear uh, because the wire kind of pops out sometimes. So the, the whole like one wire idea, no thank you, come on Sheen. But I think that Kim K is probably onto something here with that moldable, bendable underwire shape. Skim says it's all about solutions. Let's see if this mesh one wire bra will work with this cut. Skims has solved the cleavage plunge problem. That was really hard for me to say. The underwire actually goes to right here where the cup underwire is. So you actually have a little bit more space to work with. So you wear a deeper V if you want and get away with that. Um, I have to say, wearing this, I feel really comfortable. It doesn't dig into me or anything like that. Um, it is very flexible, the bra is super soft. One other problem I have with this new dress that I bought is that it's very tight around my midsection. So I'm going to see what this dress will look like if I can get myself into this tiny core control thong. Um, I believe I bought a size small medium, yes. And uh, it has a little sort of like rubbery sort of adhesive here on the back. It doesn't have it on the front, so we're gonna see if this will actually stay on me. And it looks like a torture device, but we'll see if I can get this tiny thing on me and if it's gonna help this dress to give me more shape. Here's what this core control thong does. If I pull it up to my waist, it just has <laughs> the section up here that isn't being sucked in by the core control, just basically spilling over. I managed to hike this core control thong all the way up so I no longer have that roll. I also have a bit of a wedgie that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. It's definitely like sucking everything in, makes me feel a little bit short of breath. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just like feels really tight. It does feel like, man, my stomach is super smooth and skinny. But um, how am I gonna make it through this whole day? I'm headed out for dinner and drinks with this core control and I'm a little nervous that it's gonna slip down, but here we go. The core control stayed in place for most of the day and it made my stomach look flat and it made the dress look flattering, so that was a plus. But towards the end of my date when I was walking home to take the subway, the core control started to slip a little bit in the front and it sort of like curled over. It was pretty much impossible for me to try to unroll the core control while I was walking home or on the subway because that's a really awkward thing to do in public, trust me. I don't know where my extra body fat went, but it disappeared and that makes this core control magic. 
It wasn't super easy to wear for an extended period of time, but if you've got a night out and you want to look snatched, this can help. After the day I had yesterday, I am ready to relax. We are going to chill at home with the Soft Lounge Racer Tank here. Um, it is super soft and also these Terry leggings in marble. This is like if a bath towel had an identity crisis and decided to eat, pray, love and be reborn as leggings. This is the weirdest textured pants I have ever purchased. I mean, it's, it's basically a stretchy spandexy towel fabric and it is very soft and I can't imagine I'm gonna have anything less than a super chill day in these. I feel like a marshmallow. I think I realized what is going on with these pants and it's that they are built for voluptuous women. I feel like kind of the whole legging line probably is. Um, if you have a very defined waist and large hips, these are gonna look fabulous on you. But if you're like me and you don't really have a defined waist, it sort of just like cuts off your body right here and everything kind of spills over and under. Um, so I kind of have a mom jean pooch, which I'm not loving. It was so hard for me to figure out what size I am because if you go on the size guide on the Skims website, it says small and medium are lumped together in one category, which is a four, six, eight dress size. I'm a size six dress, a 34 bust, a 30 inch waist, 34 inch hips. I'm so confused. So I didn't really know what size pants to get because there wasn't a small medium option, it was a small or medium option. So I opted for a small, I definitely should have gotten a medium just because this waistband is tight and very unflattering on me. So I'm not really sure how to navigate this size guide without buying these pants and trying them on. I hope this helps you at least. So I'm a little bit nervous to be eating or drinking or cooking with these pants on because I'm afraid if I like spill my tea, it's going to absorb into these pants. Um, like I've never worn such absorbent material before and I, it is a weird sensation to feel like I'm wearing an absorbent towel around the house and doing normal people activities. I'm a little stressed out about it, especially because I spent like $58 on these pants. If I stain them, then this is all over. I'm gonna see if we can wear these pants in public. Can't see my underwear, can you? You can. So it looks super awkward in public. Yeah. Okay. How are these leggings see-through? How? Like, what? Today we're trying out the hosiery bra, and this is in small medium onyx black, and for $34, I feel like I got hosed. This is just some hosiery cut into the crude shape of a bra for $34. I don't understand. I mean, okay, there's this little layer, thin layer of shiny material around the edge here, which is probably meant to keep it in place or help the edges from curling over as you wear it. If that is what makes this special, then okay. I was inspired to buy this because I watched Kim Kardashian on Instagram. She had this story about how she used to cut up her own hosiery and make her own bras out of them because she thought it was so comfortable and had this amazing support. I've never seen this type of bra before in this material, so I was curious to check it out. It's super lightweight. I don't think I would have spent $34 on this if I actually saw this in a store. Uh, but we're gonna give this a shot. So here's the hosiery bra. It is very lightweight. It um, is tightly conforming, but since it's so lightweight, it doesn't feel constricting. It is weird to wear hosiery on this part of my body. I can't say I've ever worn a hosiery bra before. And I think, you know, maybe Kim K is onto something here. Let's see how Skims works at the gym. So I made it through my workout at the gym and the hosiery bra actually held up pretty well. It was like lightweight and uh, I did a lot of cardio and it was just fine. But I think that if you are a more busty person, you probably wouldn't want to do high impact cardio with this bra. It is uh, very like sporty, lightweight and easy to move in. So I found this was a success at the gym. Today's the day I'm going to try the iconic Skims bodysuit. This has the mock neck. It is a long sleeve, comes with the snaps because you gotta have the snaps and it's in the camel color 
and I really don't know what I was thinking when I bought this camel color. Um, now that I've got it in my hands, it seems like a pretty weird color choice that goes against my skin tone. Um, I get that Skims is doing the whole nude tones, very neutral, and I love it. I think it looks so sexy and cool on the website, and I thought maybe I could pull this off. Um, but maybe I should have chosen a different shade. I don't know, we'll give it a try. I saw Kim Kardashian in this glorious paparazzi shot where she was wearing this camel bodysuit and she looked so stunning in it. And we all want that paparazzi moment for ourselves. So will this happen for me today? The small medium fits. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. Um, it is a tight, stretchy fabric just in general, and um, you can pretty much see the entire outline of my bra. Does it look like I have like a wrinkly skinned neck? I'm kind of wondering if that's how it comes across. Um, I mean, no matter how you swing this, it's going to have some wrinkles here. So I'm just going to have to own that. I'm not sure if that's an attractive look or not. So it's maybe a little bit weird that I have pink undertones in my face and I went for this, which sort of has a very like yellowish bronze color. So perhaps I might've chosen the wrong shade for my skin undertone to rock this. So I've got a little bit of a problem here where you can absolutely see the outline of my bra. It's very obvious. Um, so I'm gonna try out a different bra and see if that'll work better. Here's the top with the jelly sheer bra underneath. And this is the most conforming bra that I feel that Skims makes. And you can absolutely still see all of the bra cut through this top. So now I'm trying pasties. And you can see the pasty line through this top as well. Like, I think I need a skim solution for these skims. I can't wear a bra with this because you see every little detail and outline of the bra. You can't wear pasties because you see the outline of the pasties. And if you try wearing nothing, I'm not gonna show you guys that because you see everything and it's just awkward. I don't think I could go in public wearing that. I don't know how to wear this. I am not ready to give up on this bodysuit and before I wear it in public, I wanna try everything to make it work. So I ran out and bought these nippies. They claim to blend seamlessly with no ridges or bumps. Uh, here they are. They are these little silicone covers and hopefully this is gonna do the trick. I'm ready to go out and try to rock this bodysuit. Try to be paparazzi worthy today in my skims and I couldn't help feeling a little bit self-conscious because this bodysuit makes me feel like I'm basically topless in public even though I'm almost fully covered. I felt like you could see the silicone breast petals up close. It was definitely better than any other option that I had tried previously but it's still a little bit of a problem. What do you guys think? Can you see it? This is the Fits Everybody High-Waisted Thong in Onyx, and it looks like Skims found out how to make granny panties sexy. Um, I think it's the waist to hip ratio that really makes this look sculpted and amazing. It's a spandex nylon blend, so it's very, very stretchy. Uh, it looks like it's gonna probably provide a very minimal layer of support for you. You can see there are sort of raised seams here. It's not claiming to be seamless. I think you might notice it a little bit if you're wearing super tight or form-fitting clothing. It looks like it's so comfortable and incredibly lightweight. This may be more of a comfort piece rather than a solution piece, um, but it does look very, very comfy and form-fitting. Let's try it on. This high-waisted garment did not roll down during the day, and it was seriously the most comfortable ever. We've probably all tried those thongs that you can't forget that you're wearing for a moment because it's super uncomfortable, it's just riding up, and this was not the case here. It was just so comfortable and lightweight that you can kind of just forget that it's there. As I predicted, you can see the seams through tight-fitting clothes like yoga pants, so it's not really a seamless solution. It's more of an everyday basic. We made it to the end of the week, and now we're going to try the Jelly Sheer set. This is limited edition, and uh, you can see this Jelly Sheer material. It's really bouncy, and it is sheer. Um, it's extremely soft um, and very lightweight. This is in the poppy color, and they're very bouncy. 
This reminds me of Jelly Shoes. Maybe that's the play on Jelly Shear because it's a bit translucent and uh, shiny. These limited edition collections are so interesting because they really can push the envelope on like wild and crazy fabrics and cuts and styles. And sometimes you can try something really fun and daring. And then there was that velour collection. Woo! These look incredibly soft and comfortable and form-fitting. They look like they're just going to mold to your body. Um, they are just soft as butter. So let's give these a shot. Ooh, and I got this little Skims neoprene bag. I'm guessing that it's for packing along your Skims when you go on little vacation trips. I'm headed to Sunday brunch in my Jelly Shear set and so far it's super comfortable. I just made it through the whole day in this Jelly Shear set and I have to say it was so lightweight and comfortable that I kind of forgot it was there. And that's maybe the highest compliment that you can give to an undergarment company. It just molded to my body and I just felt supported yet also sexy, which is a really hard balance to get. I think I would wear this all the time. So I don't think this should be a limited edition collection. Let's make Jelly Sheer like a basic in our lives. So that's my week in Skims. The Skims line, it's expensive, and some of the items are totally worth the splurge. I mean, life is too short to be wearing cheap, uncomfortable underwear. But at the same time, some of the items like the hosiery bra just seemed overpriced and underwhelming. The big wins for me were the underwire bras and the super soft underwear. I mean, this amazing magical blend of spandex and nylon, I mean, I just haven't found that kind of fabric that's that lightweight and comfortable anywhere else. And really fun items like Jelly Sheer, you just don't see that at a Victoria's Secret. So I think Skims has really cornered the market on trying out these fabulous new fabrics. The clothing was a huge problem for me, and the Skims size guide really didn't do me any favors. Um, I had a hard time fitting into the leggings, as you saw, and I really felt like some of these clothing items might be built for a more voluptuous person that has a small waist and larger hips, or someone that is a skinny model type. Uh, for me, I just had a hard time making some of these clothing items work. Let's not even get into that bodysuit. My final takeaway, you're not gonna get Kim K's booty by squeezing into her shapewear. You still gotta do a million squats. I hope this video helps you decide if Skims is right for you. And if you try on any of these Skims outfits, I would love to hear your experience in the comments below. And as always, be sure to subscribe to The Drunk Bridesmaid for more fashion hacks and DIY tutorials. Cheers.